Hello and welcome back to more games between Eddie and Slam. Finally, because these games have been played like four months ago, we are 20 minutes into the game Koreans War and we see Eddie going for the castle here on the second stone of uh, Slam, also covering this main stone, which is interesting to see. And we do see a few war wagons here. Let's actually check how this game is going and start with Slam's map here. We've seen the main stone. Where is the main goal? The second gold in the bag and Slam's getting a TC up here. That's pretty a third TC. Main goal safe in the back, this is nice for him. And five more villages for Slam right now. It doesn't really matter because Eddie is going forward here. Game's going pretty, pretty slow. Yeah, that's a little better. And you get two golds and uh, two extra golds and extra stone inside. Probably doesn't see, no, it doesn't see all of it, but uh, at least one gold and the stone. Get a second gold safe in the back, the third gold quite far outside and main gold forward. But still, a nice position for Eddie actually. Let's see how Slime is going to defend here. He's got the siege workshop up, he's got a barracks up actually. And moving out with Manganels. What is he planning to do here? I'm not sure what happened in the first 20 minutes, of course, or like the last five. But Eddie is getting in the second castle actually. He's going really aggressive here and Slime theoretically should be able to defend this. I guess a few monks to convert some war weapons here. Five range is not really that much. It's gonna be six, but still. And of course we have the mangonels with eight range in total. So this is gonna be one major point here. The mangonel micro. Also one spearman which shouldn't be able to do too much. And now there's two monks from Slam moving in. Starting to convert here. Is he gonna get two conversions or maybe at least one? I stopped here. Not sure why and Eddie actually managing to get down that mangonel. Monks without sanctity, not sure. Do Koreans get sanctity? I guess so, but I don't really know. And Castle is gonna be up here actually. So Eddie looking good for now. Of course, Slam is booming at 15 villages um, more and good farming economy as far as I can see. Going for that safe stone, uh, safe gold here. And let me actually check. Yeah, look at this. Slam got very good resources. Maybe he's not sure on what to use them, or maybe he wants to save it for a privilege. And I don't know, why not just maybe to get up to him, it's gonna take quite some time and actually Slam is a little bit in trouble right now. So I'm assuming he's just deciding what to do next, the market coming up. And he's got three relics actually, going out to villagers to build a house and maybe later on another TC. He's gonna boom this out and then try to mass you. That's as far as I can judge right now. Of course, Eddie trying to get as many military units out as possible. Both on 11, apparently. I guess it's the monks, mangonels, and spears for Slam. So it's actually looking good here. And he's able to defend. He's gonna lose this market, but that's why he built that one in the back here. And also needs a few more houses. The two castles are covering a lot of uh, things here. And Eddie started to take the main stone from Slam. But now there's so many monks, and Eddie needs to go back really quick here, because otherwise he's gonna be in pain. Now. Like, it's three of those converted and you're in trouble. Really, now there's more Mangonels moving forward. Nice shots on these villagers. Uh, villagers going away after Slam building up the house to uh, get the villagers gathered in one point. And one square. And Eddie uh, is causing quite some trouble here. Oh, Mangonel moving forward. Can Eddie get a sh good shot on the monks? He's killed one, but of course the rest is going to heal up. And uh, Mangonel micro at, uh, on all sides here. Mark and Blacksmith are gonna go down really fast now. And that means Eddie can go in through the middle. What is Eddie doing actually? What is Slam doing here? I'm assuming more Mangonels on the way? No. Maybe more monks? Not either. And for Eddie, 588 stones. So he's gonna go for castle number three here. He's nowhere close to clicking up, of course, investing so much into military units, into the castles. Makes sense. And Slam, if he's getting up to Imperial Age, he could be interesting to see, but I would prefer to have him uh, build a few mili more military units. Now there's Garta coming up here. I like the position. Uh, it's only doing one damage against Manganels, but still, you don't want to stay on that one because as soon as military and villagers are inside, uh, it's gonna be trouble for the Manganels here. And Eddie got rid of those two buildings, but he isn't really finding a way in. At the same time, once he's breaking through the little TC, Slam might be in trouble. That's why he's got that extra TC on the outside, as expected. And there's Castle number 3 coming up. Could have gone a little more forward. And Slam's actually trying to get a car guard tower up here. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. He can see the castle, yes, so he actually needs to go more forward. Oh, nice shot from Eddie here. Nice hit on those villagers. Yardo being delayed, now it's gonna go up. But at what cost? Two more villagers going down. And this castle is going up as well because Slam does not have the military units to stop it. So for now, just trying to protect this TC for a little bit longer. Manganel's moving forward now, attacking the TC, but it's still got uh, almost 1k HP, so it's not uh, too close to going down. It still can be repaired. And. 
Uh, Eddie uh, slowly but surely finishing the cast. This got the attack upgrades on the war against not defense upgrades. Doesn't really need them, I guess, at this point. Uh, doesn't want to take mega shots. It doesn't take fights, really. It's just trying to raid or to kill here. And the TC actually going down. Interesting. The villager dying because the mega hit um, directly. One HP left, but Slime is going to repair this. And he's moving forward with monks now. Uh, that means Eddie needs to go back fast. Castle finished, and Slime is losing more ground, but he's gaining ground on the outside. And one Mangadal with the Siege Workshop forward attacking Eddie's walls here. So let's see how Eddie is going to react. I don't think he's going to panic here, he doesn't really need to. The Siege Workshop coming up in front of the main goal, probably a good idea. And now Slime trying to defend the guard towers, trying to uh, get his eco rolling even more. And he's got a lot of gold in, not so much food, which he mm, would need to go up to improve age. And look at this, Eddie got so many war wagons here. That's a shitload of uh, those tanks. Of those, yeah, tanks is probably a good word here. 150 HP is really a lot for us, the cost of the food and gold. Still, and this tower is going down, so Eddie uh, wants to go through the middle now, I guess. And it, Slam is trying to defend with more guard towers. Eddie is low on resources, but he needs to defend at the same time. Slam going just for more TCs because he uh, knows he can afford to. Uh, Eddie almost could see the TC, but he cannot, so he doesn't know that Slam actually got a, a second foot economy on the left hand side. And Slam also getting gold from two. Two gold spots, one of Eddie's golds, one of his own golds. Got a good wood line here. Only a few farms out, but he doesn't really need so many right now. Sla Eddie trying to go in now and slam. What? Calling GG? Why? No, why? I don't get it. He's got so many resources. He had more villagers. He had the, the TCs outside. Why did he call it? I don't understand it. He should have gone for military units maybe, but still, Eddie got a few war wagons here. They are dangerous and he's gonna kill a few villagers, but Slam could just buy 100 stone, ball himself in somewhere like that, get more mangonels out. He's calling Chi Chi here. I mean, Eddie wasn't scored it by far, but still, I thought he was on a good point. And maybe you know better than I am. I guess my game knowledge has suffered a bit uh, because I had a few breaks and was busy at work. Hope you enjoyed this game still. Mm, it was a short one, of course, because it started 21 minutes, but see you on the next one then. And Eddie winning this one. Congratulations. GG.